Hey there, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at The Fit Father Project. In today's video, we're gonna cover how to do farmer's walks with dumbbells, the dumbbell form of farmer's walks. And this is one of the best exercises for building your grip strength, your trap strength, your overall conditioning. Um, and we're gonna show you how to do it here with some dumbbells and some really cool implements down here that's gonna make this exercise even more effective. I know you're gonna learn a ton, and I'm also gonna show you in this video how you can incorporate farmer's walks into your workout routine to build a strong back, strong grip, strong arms. You're gonna learn a ton and get a ton of this video. So grab a pen and paper, take some notes, and let's dive on in. Fitfatherproject.com all right, so to start the farmer's walks with dumbbells, you're gonna need a pair of heavy dumbbells. And one thing I love is getting a nice pair of these adjustable dumbbells, because with farmer's walks, this is a heavy exercise by nature. So I want you to be able to really load these things up. Um, I have about 60 added pounds here, and this is about a seven pound little bar. Um, so this is probably even on a little bit of the light side of farmer's walks. Eventually, you're gonna work your way up to using maybe 80, even 90, 100 pound dumbbells as you get stronger. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, and we're gonna bring these dumbbells right here on the sides um, and you're gonna safely basically deadlift them up. So grab the dumbbell, squeeze it really hard, get in deadlift position, straight on up. Now before we start walking with the farmer's walks, what I want you to do is set your posture proper. So from the side here, what you're gonna wanna do is bring your shoulders up and back, chest is up, you're nice in alignment here. What I don't want you doing is doing a farmer's walk where you're nice and you're rolled forward here. I want you up and back right here where your shoulder blades are pinched a little bit together and your grip is squeezing these dumbbells as hard as you can. So we're gonna begin the walk and what you wanna do with farmer's walks is essentially pick a target out in the future. Um, in the future, it means meaning ahead of you, and we're gonna walk there and we're gonna walk back. So I'm gonna start deliberate steps, keeping that good up posture, strong grip, steady walk. Turn it around. Nice and good walk. Squeezing those dumbbells. I want you to remember to squeeze the dumbbells hard. And you come right on down and back and bring them down safely. So in an actual set of these farmer's walks, I might have gone down and back maybe two, three times. And I like to shoot for an ideal time under tension um, of around, roughly around one minute. So if that took me, let's just say 20 seconds, I might have done three of those laps. And I like to have that one minute time under tension as a good benchmark. Now, a couple tools down here that I think are important to make your farmer's walks even better is what we don't wanna use is any straps. The goal of the farmer's walk is to get strong hands. So um, one thing that can really help is a little bit of good old fashioned chalk. So um, nice little chalk right here. This can help improve your grip strength so much on the farmer's walks. You do not wanna use a strap, you wanna use your grip strength, but a nice little bit of chalk can totally help. You know, it almost feels like glue when you're doing that farmer's walk. Recommend this. If your gym says you can't use chalk, shh, use chalk. But they actually have some liquid chalk too that's not as powdery. Another thing that I like with farmer's walks is making them even harder with something like a fat grip. And this is amazing because farmer's walks is a big grip strength um, exercise. So what we can do is actually apply a fat grip onto that dumbbell um, and make it thick. So this is gonna be even harder when I grab this thing to hold onto. It's gonna activate those forearm muscles even more and give you a bigger bang for your buck here. And the thing I love about farmer's walks is this gonna translate so well to your grip strength that's gonna help improve your deadlift, it's gonna help improve your barbell rows and all these other big exercises. And it's gonna improve your conditioning as well. I like to use this as a finisher at the end of my workout because if you do farmer's walks in the beginning of your workout and you end up going ahead and doing things like um, deadlifts later on, your grip strength is probably gonna be fatigued from the farmer's walk. So use it as a finisher. I would recommend you maybe do three sets of around one minute time under tension. So pick that distance and go back and forth around one minute. And that is pretty simple how to do those farmer's walks. Again, make sure when you're doing these that your posture is nice and up, the chest is high, you're in nice alignment and you squeeze the entire time. Flex those arms and walk with purpose and come right on back. That's how you do the farmer's walk. So hope you found this video valuable. If you enjoyed this exercise tutorial and 
and you want more um, great workouts to help improve your muscle mass, your grip strength, your fat burning, then you definitely want to subscribe to our Fit Follower Project YouTube channel. This is what we do. Publish hundreds of videos to the channel every year. We already have hundreds of videos on there right now um, on muscle building, fat loss, supplementation, mindset, everything you need to know. Um, and so subscribe, hit that little uh, notification bell to get notified when we post new videos and you can see some related videos we have um, and we'll have some fun and I'm excited to help you reach your fitness goals, your strength goals and help implement these into your routine. Thanks for stopping by my friend. Check out these other videos. I'll see you around the channel and I'll talk to you very soon.